think it's coming home. She is like so relaxed and just like enjoying. Her. Yeah, like her eyes are like open. And so she sees blurry right now, huh? Yeah. She's just looking at light. Uh huh. We're here at a park, just waiting. She is out. For who? Gija? Yeah, waiting for Gina to get home. That way all the kids can be there and we'll surprise the kids. And the dogs too. And see how that goes. She just got home, guys. So we are going home. Eileen's there, Jaden's there, we're stalking them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys saw at the very beginning of this video, our baby girl Madison did come home with us. And it has been a month. It is September 24th and I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time but since we had the baby and kids going back to school it has been pretty hectic and I've been pretty tired most of the time. We all know that babies do wake up every three hours so during the night she wakes up a lot and now she's waking up like twice, twice a night and that's not bad but still like sometimes like I just want to go back to sleep but of course I can't because I have to feed her but other than that um, this video would be about me talking about what happened because of course I wasn't able to do a labor and delivery video just because everything happened so fast okay guys so before I begin I do want to say I'm sorry for the lighting I am in my bedroom just because I do have the baby here and she is more comfortable here than anywhere else so yeah sorry about the lighting I know I look a little bit dark and you can't really see me but I'm trying to do my videos and and do mommy duties at the same time so give me a break <laughs> so if you guys have seen my past videos I did mention that I do have two doctors which is a specialist and a regular doctor OBGYN and I would go to the specialist because of how many premature babies I've had I've had four pregnancies and all four babies have been premature babies but you guys know part of that story on my past videos so if you haven't seen those videos you can just go back and watch them but anyways I did have to go to that specialist every week and I did have to go with my OBGYN every single week so I had two appointments every every week which was pretty hectic but I understood why with my specialist I would go just because they had to measure the baby just to see if she's growing fine with my OBGYN I would just go for them to check the heartbeat now why check the heartbeat they wanted to check if her heartbeat would go i don't know if you guys seen this but you know there is a line and then you see the little spikes going up and down up and down so what they were trying to look for is if that line one that goes down would actually go beyond that line and if it did then that's when they would decide that it's time for me to have that baby or there was something going on with her but thank god nothing was going on with her on August 7th, I had an appointment with my OBGYN. It was just a regular checkup. It was for them to check the baby's heart. And everything was going fine until on the results, it showed that she went a little bit down, but not drastically. And the nurse that was there, she was like, well, let me show this to the doctor and see if, if there's any concern about it. And I was like, okay. So she left, she came back after a couple of minutes and she said that the doctor suggested for me to go to the hospital for further observations. It wasn't anything major, but they just wanted to make sure that everything was going fine. So at that moment, you know, they sent me to the hospital. I got to the hospital, they checked me in and everything, and I was observed for two hours, and in those two hours, she did fine. She did go a little bit down, but nothing concerning to the doctor. So that day, I went back home. Um, they did say that I did have some contractions, but nothing too alarming. They did ask me if, you know, I was feeling those contractions, and of course I told them no because I didn't feel anything. 
but they just said that my body was getting ready to deliver the baby when it came to that point but coming august 10th i went back for them to check the baby's heart everything was going fine but they just had to give me some juice some apple juice and then they had to use a little machine that basically vibrates and they put it in your stomach um that way the baby can wake up because honestly she did not want to wake up she wasn't giving any any movements or anything so that's what they use for to wake up the baby which my baby did not want to wake up she was completely asleep which in reality right now she's like that right now um she sleeps in the morning and at night she sleeps but she's awake most of the time and yeah so she's not a morning baby <laughs> but anyways so that's what they had to do and she was just turning me back and forth back and forth you know turn to your left turn to your right and you know because that way the baby can start moving and give those signals so at the end she was like okay i'll give you five more minutes and if nothing happens you know you're free to go and i was like okay that's fine so she left she came back those five minutes and she was and i was already on my right side no sorry my left side i was on my left side so then she was like okay turn to your right side and she's like i'm gonna try it again and i was like okay so i turned to my right side and she was trying to move the little monitor where they uh, check the baby's heart which I'll post some pictures right here if you don't know what I'm talking about um, but she was trying to move the monitor and all of a sudden she didn't hear the heartbeat so her f guys her face went to like zero to a hundred like that it was pretty fast she panicked she was like oh my god and I was like like I knew what was going on but in my head honestly the thought that I had was like she probably just moved baby <laughs> the thought that I had in my head was like oh she just moved you know I like it wasn't I wasn't nervous I didn't panic nothing like if honestly if I was another person with my first baby then yes I probably would panic but at that time I was like you know she just moved you know but she tried to move that monitor like in that same spot and like she didn't like tell me to move she, nothing she just told me to sit there and don't move um she was like hold on and she left she left running she came back she came with another nurse and she was explaining to her what was going on and what happened when and what she had done like that ent entire time that i was there and so the nurse suggested just give her oxygen and see what happens so she gave me oxygen and the nurse she started like moving the um the monitor again and then that's when she heard the heartbeat and her heartbeat was like fine it wasn't nothing it didn't sound weird it didn't sound bad like it sounded like normal heartbeat so in my head i thought it was just like oh she just moved you know but the nurse she panicked and i was like okay you know let's we're fine um but that's when she left a couple of minutes later she's like i'm so sorry you know for you know panicking basically and i was like no it's fine it's okay like you know she was the one panicking you know which i should be the one panicking but i was like it's fine like i'm okay you know so then she went back and she talked to the doctor and she's and she came back a couple of minutes later and she's like i'm sorry to do this to you but you're gonna have to go back to the doc to the hospital and I was like, okay, that's fine. And me in my head, I was like, again, like, I'm so over this. Like, I just want to go home and eat. And at that moment, I was like, I was already thinking of getting Chick-fil-A. And I was like, after this, I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. And then I'll go home and blah, blah, blah. But no, I had to go back to the hospital. Went to go pick up my husband from work because I told him that what was going on. And he told me, okay, go pick me up. I was like, okay. So then after that, we did go to the hospital and they were observing me again. The doctor came in and she was like, the plan is to observe you and see what happens. If not, then, you know, we're just going to keep you here and see what happens. And I was like, okay. So I could you not, guys, my body was like super nervous. Like me and myself and I, I was super nervous. My body was shaking a lot. I could not just, I could not stop thinking about it. Um, even though I've had... I've had you know kids before the fact that the day was already coming it's just like I don't know it it got me super nervous that I was like oh my god like she's coming you know and 
the nervousness was so bad that my blood pressure was even high and I never had my blood pressure high and this time I was super high and the doctor saw it and she's like oh my god I am so sorry I'm not trying to scare you and I was like no it's fine it's okay like you know I understand and she's like no but everything's gonna be okay don't worry about it and I was like I know you know I was like okay you know you know I knew but it's just the fact that she was already coming just got me so nervous and um I just wasn't ready for that pain and I don't know just everything everything was coming back so after that um, the doctor left and we were there just observing me again she came back after a couple of like an hour or so or like a couple of minutes and she was saying um, that they were gonna admit me in the hospital and just get me ready and observe me throughout the night so I was like, okay. So they sent me to another room, and then from there, they were still observing me. Okay. I guess I'm talking. I guess I am talking too much. Are you done? Are you good? Sorry, guys. Bear with me. But she's like, mommy, you're talking too much. I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, so they sent me to another room and then from there they were still observing me and another doctor came and she's like, hi, how are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm good and da da da. And she's like, oh, I saw that your blood pressure is high and da 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 da. And I was like, yes. And she's like, are you nervous? And I was like, yes. You know, like I really did feel nervous. Um, but she was like, everything's going to be okay and this and that. So she saw that she was going a little bit down not not too much but she was like you know maybe it is time you know for us to take her out you know she's basically she is basically telling us you know i want to get out take me out of here so i was like okay like, like i couldn't say no you know if she's telling us that she wants to get out then she's coming out but she left and i guess she was going to talk with the doctors i don't remember it was like hectic that day also um but she came back and she was like it's gonna happen you know we're gonna get you ready for the c-section and um, they didn't want to do a vag vaginal just because they didn't want to stress her out so I was like okay even though I wanted to but you know they they wouldn't let me so it was they said it was gonna be a c-section and that time I got ready they left I got ready and they were like okay are you ready and I was like okay like uh, okay let's go you know and I was like you know, my husband was there too, and he was like, are you ready? And I was like, yeah, but I'm like nervous, nervous. And he's like, everything's going to be okay. And this, and I was like, I know, but, you know, just the fact that she's coming already is like, oh my goodness, like I didn't expect for her to get here this soon, you know? We went to the operating room, and I was shaking so much, you guys. You have no idea how much I, I was shaking my husband was there they were gonna give me the epidural he was holding me and he was like you're shaking so much and i was like i know and i was like i can't stop shaking like my whole body was shaking and it wasn't like you know just a little bit it was like shaking shaking and i was like oh my goodness like i need to calm down like that's all i kept on like talking to myself and telling myself and everything like just to calm down that everything's gonna be okay and you know the lady was in back of me and she was like you know just relax and don't move and I was like okay so I try not to move and then freaking needle whatever went in and I was like oof that it, it hurt it did hurt a lot and after that like I was done and then he and then they were like okay you can lay down so i lay down and they were like already positioning me to like the correct way that way they can start on everything and they put like a big ass blanket over me um or in front of me that way I won't see like what they're doing and at some point i did not feel my legs at all like under my waist down I could not feel anything and the lady said that they were like they were poking me with like I think it was knives not knives so I don't know what she said or scissors I don't know what she said but she said something pointy and I was like no I didn't feel a thing so they started with the whole thing and I think it was like it felt like 
30 minutes but i think it was like an hour i don't know but they were done they showed they showed us a baby we heard her cry she was really tiny and you know at the whole time i was shaking i was so nervous but i could feel the whole stomach move and everything like them pulling me everything i i felt everything and my husband was like you don't are you okay like do you feel pain and this and then i was like no i'm good and i was like explaining to him you know being so specific on what they were doing like and he was like like he couldn't you know he was like i wouldn't i couldn't do what you you know what you're going through so after that they stitched me up and everything and you know i went back to the room for the recovering room too. and i was there for like about an hour i felt so sleepy and i felt nauseous like really nauseous and i did not feel any pain until i started you know waking up after that not waking up but like standing up and of course they were giving me some medications and all that stuff and that same night or the following day they were like can you get up and i was like yeah i'll try you know to get up and i sat up and i couldn't you guys i i couldn't i was so tired and literally i sat down and i just wanted to throw up i was like i can't like, i'm sorry but i can't and she's like no it's fine it's okay like you can lay back down and i was like okay and that time when i was trying to pull myself also i was like oh my goodness the pain like i don't you know i've had other one other c-section and i don't remember how like i don't remember the pain and this one i'm like I, I don't know how i could go through this again you know so then eventually i started getting up of course and it was it was hurting i'm, I'm not gonna lie my cup was hurting a lot it was bruised um i just like i started walking the day after right away but the i i could you not you guys i i was walking like an old lady like literally an old lady just doing my small little steps and even at that it was hurting it was really hurting and i was like i can't like i can't do this you know and in my head i was like no i have to i have to because i didn't want to be sitting down or in the wheelchair you know not getting up not wanting to walk you know because of my pain you know i was like no if i walk more um if i get up more my pain will go away eventually you know because i'm moving it so i was there about two days yeah i was there about two days at the hospital i got out of course she stayed in she was three pounds six ounces and so she was pretty tiny and she had to stay there at the hospital they were telling us that she she at least had to be four pounds and you know breathing on her own taking her bottle and all that stuff oh, it's okay it's okay it's okay i know i'm going i'm going i'm going guys she's a feisty one i can tell you guys that like she gets mad and i'm like uh-uh like no way jose and she makes all these noises. And she's like, I'm mad, mad. <laughs> I just gave her the pacifier and no. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like she stayed there until August 23rd, I think, or 24th. So it, it has literally been a month since she's been out. Um, but she was there for two weeks at the hospital and those two weeks it felt like forever um, I was tired I I didn't want to like my appetite was not there my husband would ask me like are you hungry and I'm like no like I'm not hungry like I don't know like at the same time I felt like I was you know and I was depressed you know but at the same time i'm like you know i can't be depressed you know i'm just sad that she has to stay there you know because for a person that's had four pregnancies and all those four babies had to stay in the hospital like it gets tiring like 
I wanted to be those, you know, that mom that comes out and comes out with her baby, you know? And it just didn't happen again. And that's something that really got me mad. And oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm gonna like tear up now. But it just gets me every single time that every single time that I'm pregnant, like I can't take my baby home, you know, that same day that I'm coming home. Cause I just wanna be like, oh, I took it out and that's it. Yeah, vamos para casa, you know? Um, so I think that's why I was like sad because I just couldn't take her home with me because I was so tired of, you know, just having babies and not taking them home with me, you know? Um, so I was like that for a couple of days. So I, I guess you can say I was depressed. Um, I just didn't, like, I did want to do things, but it was just like my pain. It's like, on top of that, it was a pain too, like. I had pain in my stomach and then I had pain on my boobs because I was breastfeeding and my boobs were like, ugh. They were like, I gotta say that those bitches were like three pounds each. <laughs> Sorry for my language, but I'm serious. Those were heavy and I'm like, oh my goodness, no. And then tired because I had to pump and I was waking up because my boobs were hurting, like, it was just a lot going on the first couple of, couple of few days. I was like, uh-uh, I can't. And ser honestly, like, at that moment, I was like, I can't. Like, I don't want to. Like, no more kids. No, no. But at this point, I haven't, like, we've talked about it already. <laughs> but as of now, like, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like, you know, I do want to, but at the same time, I don't. I'm like, I think I'm done. I can't say like no because maybe I will have another one in the future but as of now I'm like I think I'm good you know after that like I said she came out and she was fine um, she did come out with oxygen because they said because of the elevation here in Colorado and it's just different it's thinner so she had problems you know with her breathing but it wasn't much you know she just needed like very very little and as of now like she doesn't need it but you know in case she does like i have the machine we did a study and she's good so that's a good thing but i still have it just in case but yeah i mean other than that like that's basically what happened like like i said it happened so fast that i i wanted to record it but it was just pretty hectic everything happened so fast that i I didn't even think about it, you know. She's good. Now she's a month. And she eats a lot. So she's growing. But she's taking her time. And she's super cute. And all our kids love her. Um, I know my daughter, Aileen. She, I mean, we all wanted a boy. Why lie? We all wanted a boy. As you guys saw my other videos. Um, our gender reveal. We all wanted a boy. But my youngest wanted a girl. And she's really good with her um now she wants to carry her you know most of the time at first she was like like i don't want to carry her you know because she was really tiny and i'll post some pictures right here that way you guys can see how tiny she was and how she looked when she was first born but she's she's pretty good she loves to carry her now and then aileen which is my my oldest but like or like our fourth child together she was in denial she was like no it's gonna be a boy it's gonna be a boy and when i when we told her okay we were gonna have the baby already she was like i'm not ready i'm not ready and i was like why not and she's like no i want it to be a boy it's gonna be a boy so she was in denial for quite a while until now that she's here she's honestly she's the one that's right here with her she'll come every you know every minute or every hour or so and she's like can i carry her or like she's there touching her head or she's there kissing her and stuff like that like now she's the one that you know that it's just there como un chicle and you know sometimes i'm like you know leave her alone déjala. and she's like no 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 and i was like i remember when you didn't want a girl and she just stays quiet and she laughs but i mean we all want a boy but she's good but anyways that's the story that's how everything happened 
like I said, it happened so fast, and now she is here with us, waking me up every single time, crying. She's hungry, sleeping. When she sleeps, I'm like, I should be asleep. I should take a nap. I should do something that way, you know, aprovechar, you know, that way I won't be so tired. But then I'm like, I'm like so wide awake that I'm like, I'm not tired, like I'm not sleepy. But sometimes I do get those moments where I'm like, oh, I'm so tired like I want to go to sleep but mm, but she's good you guys like we're excited for her to be here and yeah so let me let me show you guys <laughs> look at her guys everyone meet Madison Flores she doesn't have a middle name because I told my husband that some of our kids have middle names but we don't use their middle names. We only use their first names. I was like, what's the whole point of a middle name? So, here she is, you guys. She's so cute. Asleep. <laughs> but yeah, we're so glad that she's here. And we're happy to have her here with us. After two weeks of her being at the hospital... And it was pretty hectic, too, of going back and forth, back and forth to the hospital because, you know, we had to wait for our, my stepdaughter to get here. That way we can go over there and then come back and then make dinner and then go back again. So we would try to go two to three times a day, which that was a lot, you know, because we also have kids here. And, you know, the kids were like, again, and I was, we we're like, yeah, like we have to go, you know. And they were like, well, tell the baby to come back. And I was like, I know, but, you know, we just have to wait till, you know, she's ready. So she's ready and she's here with us. That was our story for how she came out to this world. Pretty hectic, but everything good. I know this video wasn't what you guys, you guys are used to, but I just wanted to... <laughs> tell you guys what happened FYI the when she came out the doctor actually told us that her umbilical cord was around her neck so we were me and my husband were actually thinking that you know that's why she was going her heartbeat was going down because maybe she was like choking herself or something you know so I go back and I'm like what if we actually had waited like a couple of more weeks because we I was 33 weeks almost 34 um one more day and then I was 34 weeks so I was like, what if we had waited like a couple of more weeks? Like what would happen, you know? So, I don't know. Things happen for a reason. And then, of course, she was born on August 10th at 3.35 p.m. And that's my dad's birthday. Um, I'm thinking that my dad sent her. Like my dad was like, no, she's coming out today. Because my dad is not no longer here with us. Uh, he had a bad accident. He was trying to fix a car and he was under the car and that car basically fell on top of him and that's it. Like I wasn't there. I was coming back from Brownsville. Um, but I, it was too late for me to go back and then we didn't have the money for me to, you know, pay for another ticket. If you guys are like those type of people, like I honestly do believe stuff like that you know things do happen for a reason and you know probably my dad sent her to us like he was like no like I want her to be born this day so yeah she's born on my dad's birthday which is pretty cool here she is <laughs> there she is you guys she's super cute and she's always like that even in the sonogram she was like that with her hand if I find a picture of the sonogram, I'll, I'll insert it and you guys can see. But that's how she sleeps and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But yeah. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on the side for you guys to get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. You want to say bye, Maddie? Say bye. Oi. Say bye. <laughs> Bye guys.